Hello there guys, we're back on the Ducati game. And I'm going to continue with my historic tour. I've had a little go without you, I do apologise. I only came fourth and I got one gold medal, but I thought I was recording and I wasn't. So uh, unfortunately you've missed a little bit, but it weren't, weren't that exciting. So yeah, uh, I had a crack in here on, where is it? This track. I was so close to first. In fact, I'm going to do it again. I was that close to first. Um. What do I want? There we go for this. It's got better acceleration and better top speed. Uh, yeah, I'm going for this. Can't remember what I did last time. Can't remember which bike I had. It's probably the blue one because I normally go for the one that I think is the prettiest. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I was so close. I really was. If we'd had another 200 meters on the track, I would have come first. It was so frustrating, so hopefully, hopefully, I can uh, I can get first spot this time. All right, settings are the same. I'm on hard and pro. And uh, traction control and all that jazz switched off. So let's have a little look. We have hard. I've turned my rewinds down to two. Um, I don't like using rewind, but if I fall off, I'm, I'm had it. So emergency, I'm allowing myself two rewinds. So we've got pro physics, we've got all that jazz, as you can see. Let's go. I'm starting in eighth then. Not a good start. Perhaps I shouldn't have just held my finger on the uh, accelerator or the throttle. Oh, that's all right though. I'm not grumbling at that. Oh, oh, oh this is looking good. Ooh, sorry, dude. <laughs> Riding up on my wheel there. I'm not happy about all these people being close to me. You do tend to fall off if they touch you. Oh, I'm going through that gap. Oh, I don't think I could have asked for a better first lap than this, could I? We're away. So now I've given myself a... Uh, a nice lead, just in case I do fall off. Oh shit! Oh, that was bad. That was very bad. Yeah, I really don't want to use the rewind. So uh, if I fall off in this position, I'll probably just get back on, and hopefully I won't have fallen too far behind. So I'll try and extend my lead just in case that does happen. So you hear the crowd there whistling and shouting, that really sounds like it's outside. It really does, sounds like people shouting in the street. I'll tell you what, on the, the race that I did that you didn't see, it certainly didn't go this well. I really had to battle to get anywhere near the front. And I was in third place, and I'd had another couple of hundred meters, I would have made it. But uh, unfortunately, I didn't quite manage it. And I was praying for a fourth lap. But nope, just three. Going good. Well, I think when you're out in front, it, it's a little bit boring, isn't it? It's much more interesting when you're at the back and you've got to fight your way to the front. It's more interesting to watch as well, as opposed to just the one at the front. Yeah, this game is... Uh, it seems to be quite a bit easier than most other motorcycle racing games, that's for sure. 
and I am on hard settings, hard AI, and I'm on pro physics. So yeah, if you uh, if, if you like motorcycle racing games, but you think they're a little bit hard, then most certainly get this. It's a little bit easier than most of them. Certainly easier than MotoGP. <laughs> it's a complete nightmare. But the physics feel good. When, when you uh, lose the bike a little bit, it, it proper feels natural when the bike starts to skitch out from underneath you. It really feels like... Uh, like real. That's really weird. Th them people shouting really sounds like it's people outside in the street. Well, last time I was praying for four laps, this time I'm, I was wishing it was only two. Alright, there we go, two down, one more to go. We've managed to uh, not use a rewind. As long as I'm not an idiot, I should be able to get to the finish line in first place without falling off. Not a very entertaining video for you guys though, really. Starting to lose it a bit there. Well, from this, you'd expect that we need to crank it up to the next level, wouldn't you? But uh, what I did off camera really didn't go this well. I think if I did crank it up to the next level, I'd be last place all the time. I'm going to leave it at this for now, but if we continue winning like this, then I'm definitely putting it up to the next setting. We go just a couple of corners left and we are home and dry with an extra two gold medals because we've already got one from this race by coming third so we get two more oh, i didn't manage to get the front wheel up lovely jubbly all right so we've now got six Four away from locking the next stage. I really should crank it up, shouldn't I? I'm gonna leave it on this level for the time being, but if we get if that happens again, if on the next race we manage to win like that, we're going up to the next difficulty setting. Because we can't we can't have that, can we? That's just silly. So what should we go for then? I'm really tempted to go back on this Wales one. There is a championship. What tracks are they? Imola, Stalvia, or Misano. Are they all in here? Right, that's Imola. I mean, the first one's Stalvio. And is this. Was it Misano, the last one? Yeah. So it's that one, that one, and this one. I don't know if we have to do the championship or not. I'm going to stick with just a normal race, but I'm going to do this one again. Uh, what's got best acceleration? This has. Right, we'll stick with this then. Seems to be quite a short track. Doesn't seem to be many long straights. We're going to go for acceleration. Is that better top speed as well? Although the other bike did add better handling, didn't it?
I don't know whether to try and uh, be a completionist and get all of the gold medals before continuing or whether just try to get through the game by progressing to each stage as soon as it's unlocked and then come back and tidy up. I think I'll do that. I think I'm just going to push and push and push and then come back and tidy up at the end. really hard to get this, uh, this this controller is an old one with a cable because I've been using it with my steering wheel with the headphones because when you've got a wireless one it, it turns itself off and then your headphones go off so I've, I've cracked open an old uh, wired controller but it seems to not have a very good trigger it seems to be very difficult to do anything uh, analog with a trigger it's very very digital it's not a, a proper Xbox one it's, it's one of the ones where you can reconfigure the buttons and it's got a couple of switches on the back as well, but it was a cheap one, like. Quite a nice track, this. I quite like it. Pleasant scenery. Ooh, don't hit your head on that wall. Quite long as well, so it should give me. Oh shit, shit, shit! Get on, get on! Oh, that was close. <sighs> if I did that in real life, I would poo my pants. It'd take me a while to peel those levels off when I got home. That's for sure. <laughs> All right, one lap down. We haven't managed to make up many places. I've got this. They're all clumped together, which is lovely. So as soon as we get a place where I can... Uh... Oh, there we go. I'm holding my breath. Oh, shit, shit. All right, I've got two rewinds. I'm going to use one. I'll tell you what, guys, if you fall off, you've got to hit that rewind button straight away because it don't rewind far. Time there, that's nasty. Oh my god, look how far away they are, they're tiny all of a sudden. Oh, terrible, terrible corner. I'm losing it. Come on. Right, we've still got a lap to go. We can catch them, we can catch them. Three point six seconds. Oof, that's a bit of a tall order, isn't it? Very over, over cautious there. Oh god, too cautious. Four seconds now. I'm clinging on to my one star. I feel like I've made up a tiny bit there. Probably a 3.8 as we go over this. Oh, not, as, not as good as I thought. Went wide there last time as well, didn't I? You saw my tracks on the floor. That bit's tricky. Well, if we get one star out of this, and then we... Uh, oh, I didn't realise we was at the end. So we got one star out of that. We now need three to be able to unlock the next level. 
So as long as we can get uh, a win, we've unlocked the next uh, section of the game. That was a mess, wasn't it? Some really bad riding in there, and I had to use a rewind. Right, so we, we need a gold here, and that's going to take us on to the next stage, the 1980s. Obviously, we'll get faster bikes as well. Right, which one of these tracks do you reckon I could get three stars on? Yeah, Road America. What's that? Damn, that's got some little, little iggledy piggledy bits in it. I don't like the look of that. That looks pretty easy. It's quite long as well. We've done that one already, haven't we? That's quite long. Is that the longest one? Oh no, that one is. I'm gonna go for that one at the beginning because there's, there's no really nasty little bends. Oh, I've got backache. Right, let's have a look then. I'm gonna do this again. I don't care about the handling, I just want top speed. When you've got two bikes to choose from, I don't think it needs to give you a filter option. <laughs> So it would take longer to filter the bikes than it would just to select one of the two that are available for you. That's just silly. I don't know whether later in the game as I unlock more bikes, they would all appear in that section. To me, it seems like it just shows you the ones you can use. And, and that's like two. Come on then, we need gold. You gotta come first on this. Let's see if we can try and get this a little bit more analog. I tell you what, I'm gonna get a proper controller instead of this wired one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I oh, know. Let's hope this has got full charge. That's much better. I've got a proper, proper Xbox controller now. That's not working at all. Press the menu button on the controller to assign it. There we go. Why, why did I come off so slow there? Is the people behind me? Yeah, there are. Okay, that's not too bad then. Good news. Oh, I like this track. Look at the scenery. This is lovely. This is the sort of place you want to be riding your motorbike in real life, isn't it? Beautiful roads, nice corners, and nice scenery in the mountains. a little bit too much there. Come on, we can get in front of him up this hill. Lovely jubbly. Oh, I think we've got an easy gold on this, guys. I really do. Unless we make a stupid mistake. We've got our two rewinds, if we need them. I don't think we're going to need them. This is a lovely track. <laughs> oh shit 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 oh I messed that up a treat the old rock foot oh Christ don't 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 look I don't know we had some sort of rock circle formation or something there there seems to be a pile of rocks going on no it's just a load of boulders isn't it didn't know if it was a little stone circle
don't know why I slowed down that much. That looks amazing, that little village down uh, on the left over the cliff. I mean, it's, it's an old game, what's this, like four years old or something, I think. But uh, yeah, it looks nice. We did have a tiny little bit of pop-up there, I don't know if you saw it, but the window on one of the houses... Oh shit, what am I doing? The window on one of the houses popped up. The house was already there, but without a window, and then a window suddenly appeared. So a tiny little bit of pop-up, but not much. A lot less than uh, Isle of Man TT2. Bad line through here. Oh, got away with it. That's all right then. Yeah, that's not bad. Nice glare on the headlights as well. I'm quite impressed with this. I think, Jesus, it was like two quid, two or three quid. But I'm, I'm actually really impressed with it. It's nice to play. The physics feel good. Yeah, it looks all right. And who doesn't like the caties? I do. I had a NSR uh, 125, but I took the fairing off, and uh, the guy who had it before me had put the swing arm on upside down by mistake, so it was too high, and it looked, without the fairing on, like a Ducati Monster. It really did. I know all bike people will be like, an NSR can never look like a Ducati Monster, but it did. I think mainly because it was uh, the same shade of red, I think that was the biggest factor. But because the fairing weren't on it as well, and most bikes had fairings then, so to see a bike that was naked, it, it, it was a little bit more unusual. And because the uh, Monster was, you know, a naked bike that, that was the same colour, and it was kind of like the same sort of... Um, I mean, when I turned the swing arm back over, it looked completely different. But, uh, I don't know why I did that. I don't know whether he did it by mistake or whether he did it for a reason. Shit, 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 I was looking at that village. Oh, I'm rewinding. I was looking at the village. Look at it down there on the left. I won't look at it this time. Nice wall. I'll tell you what, this game has inspired me to play Ride 3. <laughs> it really has. It's from the same guys that made Ride and Ride 2 and Ride 3. And uh, I think this came out in between Ride 2 and Ride 3, didn't it? I ain't played Ride 3 much, but I imagine it's pretty similar to this. Probably got exactly the same physics, but slightly better graphics, so I might get myself back on there. Played it a little bit, but not much. Oh shit, 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 shit. Oh, get, oh, stay on, stay on. Uh, guaranteed three stars are not looking very good anymore. Come on, come on, come on, come on. At least we didn't fall off. We've got to get back in front of these guys. I need those three stars. We'll get them on this bend. Let's get a good place. Oh, bollocks. Go on, you fall off as well. Have I got a rewind? Oh, I've got one left. Thank God for that. <laughs> oh, it doesn't go enough. It really doesn't go enough. That's not enough. Okay, right. Good, good, good. Inside, inside. Two stars! Come on! That's not the finish line, is it? Bollocks, it is. <sighs> I look a lot happier than the guy that won. <sighs> we need one more. <laughs> uh, all because I was looking at that little village. That was it. I I had that definitely three, three stars in the bag there. Up until that point where I started sightseeing. What a bummer. Right, we need one more star. We can do this. I might go back to the uh, to the first lot of tracks and get get uh, get a star from that. In 
the beginning. Let's get back in here. Which one shall I do? Well, this is uh, this is the same track we've just done, but a different circuit. So we'll have a crack at that, I think. Oh, I wanted to be on the other bike. Let's have a look which one allows me the other bike. Where does it tell you what bikes we can have? I'll go with this one then. I want the Desmo. So the only reason I'll come back here so I can have a little crack on this. I love that hand-painted 62. I think that's such a nice little touch, it really is. And even the Ducati logo as well. I really think that horse should be facing the other way though. <laughs> it is, look, on the other side it is. It's the same pattern, just been reversed. Shouldn't have done that, should have had them both facing forward. Right, come on. Oh, I love this little bike. Oh, Christ. Is it a two stroke? It's a bit squarely. They left me a bit of room there, I didn't want to go on the grass. Oh, oh, I reckon we might have to put it up to the next difficulty setting. Well, I could be really brave and put it in uh, manual gears. Oh yeah, we need the next difficulty. Look at that. They're miles behind. That's ridiculous. Do a quick wheelie. Wasn't wasn't planning on uh, on falling off. <laughs> I wanted to show off, but not fall off. Right, I'm gonna have to stay focused now because we've got one one rewind left, and if I do fall off, uh, that they'll probably beat me, and I need that a star. Well, that was a terrible corner there. I bet they're right behind me again. You know what, I reckon I'm going to buy myself a, a motorbike controller. I do really like motorbike games, but it's such a shame that you have to buy them on, uh, you have to play them on the, uh, the game pad. I mean, I'd much prefer to play it on the steering wheel. I could just buy that adapter thing, couldn't I? But I hope will allow me to use my steering wheel on motorbike games. And if it doesn't, I'll just have to bloody do a Kickstarter project. And, uh, and make one myself. It can't be hard, can it? I don't, I don't care about force feedback. I just want to bloody get the inputs from the steering wheel, turn them into a controller and send them to the Xbox 
so that I can ride motorbikes with a wheel or just buy a set of handlebars. I'm not very good at that corner, am I? I messed that up last time as well. going to put it up to the next difficulty setting and hopefully I'll still be competitive it'll really annoy me if I put it up and I'm like miles behind everybody because I, I don't want to just keep doing this and we've had two races now where I've been way out in front to be honest though we've had a couple of races where I've struggled as well and if I do make a mistake and come off if I don't rewind and I have to play catch up at least I've got the option of doing that, but I shouldn't I shouldn't be this far ahead. No, I really shouldn't. We're gonna crank it up to whatever's next. Oh that's the end. I enjoyed that. Look at all them bikes. <laughs> yes, we have unlocked the next stage. We got Dufa. Now I've got 10 bikes, that's nice. Welcome to the 80s. We should be playing some 80s cheesy synth pop, shouldn't it? Really? In the 1980s I was a big adamant fan. <laughs> Yeah, we need to crank it up. That's too big a gap. We'll have a look at the bikes. I'll change the difficulty setting so I don't forget to do it at the beginning of the next one. And then we'll shut down this video and we'll, we'll venture into the 1980s at the beginning of the next video. But I'm just gonna, I'm gonna push myself through this. As I said before, I'm just gonna try and get as many stars as I can, whiz on through. Look at the headlights on that, don't they look ridiculous? <laughs> Uh, it should have a headlight like this, like set into the fairing. It's like two spotlights stuck on the front. It's like the front of a, a mini when you're like a rally mini <laughs> with a big spot on the front. Oh dear. I hate the fairing on this bike, I really do. I thought it looked ridiculous when it came out as well. That's nice though. Is that it? Just those three? Oh, that's a shame. I want some more. Yeah, I don't like that. That's an ugly bike. That's that's good. And that's good. The 1980s. Let's just get in there and have a look. Right, only half of the 1980s. Alright, so we got a championship. All the same tracks. Like, it's a different one though, it's still, still North Wales, but it's different to the other one. Yeah, same as before, there's not much variation on tracks. Never heard of this place. Anyway, 1980s. It was the presentation, what it just did, and that's it, it is, isn't it? It's nothing more than this. That's a shame. Let's have some like video footage of people winning races on Ducatis from that era. That'd be nice. All right, so we need 20 to unlock the next set. So that's only like uh, four races if we manage to do well. And then uh, then it jumps up 15. Oh bloody hell! And then we need loads. 
Well, it's, only, it's only 15 again, isn't it? It just seems like a big number. I don't know, we have to just do one race. What are we on? 35 minutes. We'll just have one, one in here. One quick one. What we got? I'm going to go for North Wales again. It's a different different track to before, isn't it? So I'm going to go back in North Wales. It looks different anyway. And my option is this with its ugly fairing. Let's have a look what the other ones allow you to have. Right, that's the other bike. So these two are the other bike. That's a lot faster bike. So what's that then? What's this one? Oh, it's the one with the weird headlights. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go for this. Right, let's have a look at the track, see if it looks like it's... Oh, it's Road America. I don't know this track, it's just I recognise the name. Right, we'll have a crack at this. It's got good handling, but only a little bit higher top speed than what we've been used to. But we are going to crank up the difficulty setting as soon as we get in there. I'm sitting in a weird position, I've given myself a... A dead leg. There we go, that's slightly better. Just move the microphone a bit. I think that'll be all right there. Might be a bit close. The 1980s. Oh yeah. Right, race options. Jesus Christ, we're unrealistic. Well, that's the top option. I'll just give myself another. I'll, I'll allow myself four rewinds on realistic mode. <laughs> uh, right, so the only thing that we've not done is, uh, is gears. Everything else is on as difficult as it can be. Oh, and tucking as well. Right then, let's see how this goes. Feeling a little bit nervous. Look at that. It's like a bloke made this bike himself in a shed with some wood. And it, that back end look, it's just such a box. It's nice and shiny. Squeeze down here. Oh, I thought I was going to manage to whiz past them all then. Don't fall off, don't fall off. Well, this is easier than I expected. Faith in your brakes, boys. Oh shit. A little bit of showboat in there. Oh, that feels good. I'm tempted to do a stoppy. No, we'll just try and win. We'll focus on trying to win. Ah, oh, could have got away with doing that a little bit quicker. He goes on for so long, that corner does.
Yeah, this is definitely an accessible bike racing game for beginners, it really is. I mean, it's a lot easier. I mean, before I started recording, I did the, uh, the little tutorial at the beginning. It's much, much easier handling the bike when it's in uh, basic mode compared to pro mode. But um, I reckon if, you, if you've played any motorcycle games before, then you'll, you should be on these settings that I am now at least. Perhaps even with gears. <laughs> Hey, Jesus Christ, what's going on? Calm down, boys. What did I do when I was distracted telling you how easy it is? <laughs> yeah, if you've played the MotoGP games and thought, bloody hell, these are hard, give this a go. It's quite fun. I reckon Ducati should send me a motorbike for free for promoting their game. <laughs> Far ahead, aren't they? The back brake is a little bit strong. It's a shame that the back brake is a digital button, it's not an analog thing. I mean we haven't got another controller for it, have we? But yeah, it's a little bit little bit strong the back brake is. When you use it, you seem to slow down a bit too much. Oh I'm not in the money, I need to get back up. I've got to be a minimum of third. This is not good enough. Oh we've got you now, mate. See you later. Little, little nudge. Yeah, he's alright. Oh shit. I've lost control. Oh, I'm off. I'm rewinding. I hope it takes me back before that bit where it all went pear shaped. That's not bad. That's not bad. I'm glad I remembered that I've got um, my, my brakes are not combined so I can slide my back end around a little bit. Right, one lap left. Can I catch them? I don't think I can. Can I stop them from catching me? I hope so. Oh, that's not good. I ignore this bloody driver line. It turns red far too early. I'm braking way too early on these corners because of that line. The little mini map makes it look like they're right on my tail, doesn't it? But there's, there's still quite a fair gap there. I'm still quietly confident. Ah, shit. <laughs> I think we'll have a cheeky rewind. I wonder if you can do two in a row just to get back back a bit further. Let's try. Because that is a shit place. Oh god, what's going on? I've turned traction control on. Oh bloody hell. Rewind, rewind. Come on, rewind. He won't do one. Oh, that's no good. It's no good now. I want more. Oh, I broke the game. <laughs> right. It doesn't like rewinded. That's it. It's not happy with me. Well, just before that happened, I was thinking I might restart this race. 
And now if I do, it's not my fault. <laughs> it's very strict on the rewinds. If you do too many, it just kicks you right out. But I'll tell you what, that we're at top settings now. So uh, that's not bad, is it? Oh, and also I forgot to mention, but I've just, um, just realized because I did it by accident, you can actually turn your traction control up and down with the, um, the D-pad. Uh, whilst you're riding so you know you can turn it off and then turn it on if you get into a particularly tricky area with lots of bends but I, I just want to keep it off completely because the bike physics feel better like that I like it when you sort of lose control a bit I, I don't like it when you fall off but... right then Get back into the 1980s. Might try a different one this time. So, should we try the, the one that's got the fastest bike? It's got the hardest track though. I think out of those two, ugh, don't like the look of either of them. I'll go with this one. Right, so this is the fastest bike I've got so far. Goodness, I am tired. Oh my god, look at the time. Didn't realise it was that late. I expected it to be about 11 o'clock. Right, we'll do this one, and then that'll be the end of this video. Hey, what's going on? Oh, it's a. Oh, I don't like this. I really don't like this because you can't tell how you're doing. I want other riders on the track. I'm probably going to get penalised for this. <laughs> oh, I've only got two rewinds. I don't want to do a fucking time trial thing. I want to race against other people. This is bollocks. And it's, you don't know where you are until right at the end because it's too hard to look at all the times. It's much better when you've got other bikes on and it's really obvious that if you're going to win or not. I wish they got a doubter that told me how I'm doing compared to the person that's currently winning. I don't want this. <laughs> Preferably not on this track either, it's horrible. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. I'm going to be last, aren't I? <laughs> Right, 144 we need. Is this the final straight? I've got three laps anyway. Are you kidding me? I, I, I need 144 and I got a 133. Oh no, that weren't the end. <laughs> this is the end of beer. Right, so I've got a 150. Okay, that's not bad because I didn't do very well, so... I was going to say, my 133 on these settings, that's uh, appalling. On, on behalf of the game. It'd be spectacular on behalf of me. Oh, this corner's horrible. I don't like this track at all. 
I'm doing worse than I did last time. Well, it's so obviously this this lap is not going to be uh, not going to be in the money. We got one more after this one. We'll see how we can do. I've got no rewinds. <sighs> this track's not easy. It really isn't. Right, let's try try and get. Uh, a little bit more flowy. Ah, oh, better than last time. Stay on. Jesus Christ, I'm half second down. How's that even possible? Oh yeah, because I completely forget that I've got back brakes. And maybe because I went around that corner really slowly. That's the end of that then. That's not easy. Right, let's retire. I don't want to do a time trial, I just want to race other people. Right, that's the end of this video. We've managed to make it to the 1980s. And on the next video, we're going to do some proper racing against other people, not just some bullshit time thing. But we'll come and clear all this stuff up at the end. We're just going to whiz on through and then we'll come back and do these silly things. But, uh, I like it. I, I feel quite chuffed that I've got my uh, my settings up to top. I'll tell you what though, I don't know whether my traction control is going to be off still because I accidentally fiddled with it, didn't I? But I assume that didn't save because then the game crashed almost immediately afterwards. But there we go, guys. See you in the next one. Take care. Have a wonderful whatever it is, wherever you are. I am going to bed. Good night.